Hey guys, welcome back to Bear Guides. I'm Nate. I'm Cameron. And we're playing Devil May Cry. Yep, picking up where we left off, about to enter a coliseum of some sort. Sort okay, so of. health that I want to ignore for now. Yeah. Ah, one of my favorite enemies. Oh, lizard demons? Mm. Yep. Stinger. Oh, they're like dinofoles, but awesomer. Mm-hmm. All right, have fun. They are uh, pretty hyper-athletic. They've actually... Um, them and a few others have actually transcended a few games. Uh, oh, dude, enemies not normally... Uh, no, actually. Uh, each... Uh, oh, there's a, there's a yellow orb over there. Uh, each Devil May Cry installment has kind of its own unique set of enemies. Um, so, uh, in here, like... It's, there's actually a pretty good spread uh, because they were just establishing all the different types of things. But you could the, the marionettes are probably the more signature of the uh, of the enemies here because there's a couple different variants of those that we gotcha. have yet to see. Where is this yellow orb? Um, so go get that. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then check over to your right in the corner. Ah, uh, sweet. Yeah. Um, and then also, yeah. Uh, see, the second game has a bunch of goat demons. Uh, check over to go, go to your right. So. Um, yeah, go back outside. Um, and I think if I remember correctly, you want to go back to the to the door, but then keep going to the right of it. So gotcha. pass, pass this up and then go up this hill here. Pretty sure you can go up this hill. Yes, you can. Oh, oh, that's sneaky. Yeah. Like, yeah, I wouldn't have noticed that. Yeah, and then hit that thing. This, this is, is where, where blue, blue light, light is sealed. Hey, hey, I know yeah. what that means. Mm hmm. Doot, doot, doot. Sweet. There you go. Anyway, yeah, I was just thinking about it. I was like, oh yeah, I'm pretty. I don't. I didn't remember what the fuck was up here. I just remember that it was a thing. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's. So the marionettes are iconic. No, uh, yeah, they're kind of the iconic uh, enemies of this one. The second game has a very has a whole family of different kinds of goat demons you'll fight like all the time. Uh, three um, actually has. I won't say the least variety exactly, but it's a bunch of like Grim Reaper Scythe uh, enemies. Oh fuck! Okay, not I, there. Uh, not yet. You're gonna you go through there. Yeah, you're gonna. Uh, uh, or okay, check something. check that door. I'm curious of what's up top there. Yeah, I get that. Oh, cool. Holy water. Holy Very cool. Water of divine blessings holds the power to eliminate. Oh, so that's it's like a, a giant AOE. And yeah, it, kills, yeah, yeah. Free yeah. it also works on bosses pretty well. Um, so if you are in a dire straight situation, you do a fuck ton of damage in one go. Nice. Yeah. So go through that. You're going to. Oh. Is there an in universe explanation for why, like, I mean, demons are like. In my mind, my idea of demons are like Warcraft. Uh, not Warcraft, Warhammer demons, where they're like. They just represent chaos, mm -hmm. so like there doesn't need to be an explanation for why they might look different, or you only see certain types sometimes. Because there are changing. like different like there, it's kind of alluded to. I don't know. I don't not brush up on the overall meta lore itself, but um, but I think there's different like uh, sects or uh, or clans or whatever of different demons. So you get to do platforming in this engine, which is oh, just fun. the best. Uh, so yeah, collect collect all your red orbs if you can. Um, are the platforms moving? Yes, they are. Oh, Some of them are. That's <laughs> probably all of them. Hey, all right, okay. so you got two. Okay, so you're stocking up. You're doing well. Um, but you uh, you go back to that. You go back to the thing you were hitting the the melee thing. Yeah, there's, there's a little start section there. up there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. And that I know we talked about it a little bit before. Oh. Yep, you gotta jump. Um, you're saying is the world of Devil May Cry like its mythology in terms of demons and stuff? Is mm -hmm. that influenced more heavily by like Japanese demons and stuff? Or? No, I think they went very uh, European on the vibes here. Um, this is kind of their interpretation. Oh, yeah, not that way. No, I know, but I saw something. Oh, did you? What was that? Uh, I don't know, something shiny. Maybe another yellow orb. It might be. Oh, yeah, good call. Um, no. Oh, it's a Devil Star. Cool. Um, so what this does is that it restores um, Devil Trigger. Gotcha. When, uh, when you don't have any. All right. 
Um, so yeah, so so when you say European, like not necessarily because there seems to be a good amount of like paganism. Yeah, like, there's well, like when I say European, I mean like anything that they view as West. Yeah, um, like Western influences. It's uh, I'm always curious to see how that's interpreted. Yeah, so um, I don't know. Have you played the series? Uh, it's a JRPG, Shin Megami Tensei. I have not, although I know it's Ooh, hugely okay. popular, and I think five is coming out. Or yeah. Yes. It's coming out. That's also spawned the Persona spinoff series, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's that's. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's another series where um, you're getting your inscription third on the web base. My name is Ifrit. Ifrit. Fool who awakens me shall pay. Oh, this is like in God of War, how you get like the uh, Hercules's gloves. Yep, something so like dude, that. This is like a heavier hitting, mm-hmm. short range weapon. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. But now it's trying to burn him. It's not nearly as cool as the sword, but it's uh, it's very much the same kind of. Yeah, they, they, it should have had them plunge through his. Yeah. Ifrit. Increased power. Okay, mm-hmm. so now I have. So now you can play around with these guys. Much slower, mm-hmm. much shorter range. And you can, but you can combo. also, uh, but you can also charge it. So hold the button down. Oh. And cool. and that works for every single move in the combo. Can I launch people like this, or do I launch uh, with a sword and then I go to... No, no. Um, yes, you can. I didn't realize this for a long time. Okay, so now you get to play a little bit. Um, you can launch. Um, there you go. Yeah, it has some knockback power. Um, and you have a little bit of a lunge as well. If you, I think if you uh, target and then hold back, like you, almost like you're going to do like the, uh, the high time, the high time slash where you knock him into the air, I think he does like an uppercut. He like... Um, Okay. Uh, hold, like so, hold in it. Yeah, hold back on it. So uh, you lock your you lock your position in. Yep. And you hold back relative to that to that facing, and then you should be able to do. Maybe you have to unlock it. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah. So what should I be doing next? Uh, Are we back out this area. Yeah, I think you're done with this area. This is just to get it for it. What am I? Is that the, oh that maybe that's the right thumbstick is. And you, so you, uh, just quick change, you click, I think it's the, l- it's the oh. left or right thumb. And you okay, can switch so between the two. Oh, oh, that's cool looking. Mm hmm. This is your second big boss. Well, I guess it's technically your third. Alright. Yeah. So he does red lightning stuff. Yeah. Avoid that. Yeah, avoid I see that. his shadow. Mm-hmm. Oop. <laughs> Don't do that. Yeah. Ah. Uh, okay. Jump too early. Mm-hmm. And you I think you can shoot him, yeah. There you go. So now you can Yeah. Yeah. So you can you do like this diving kick when you jump up in the air. Oh fuck! Yeah, okay. I, like I, I'm trying to remember all his moves, but at the same time, like I don't, I kind of don't want to tell you because I want you to experience it for yourself. Yeah, I'm figuring it out. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's, he's basically kind of a, a bullet hell. Fuck! Jump! Jump! No, don't need to yeah, jump don't, there. Yeah. Jump. It. Uh, whatever elevation you are uh, at, it. That's where it shoots. That's where it tracks you. I follow. Yeah. So he'll attack you like a bird. Yeah. Like, you know, you can expect his be- uh, pecking and whatever. Whoa. And those are platforms you can jump up on. Those red things. Oh. To change the elevation. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, but they don't last forever. This is part of. I guess this is part of his deal. Yeah. Double trigger. Get mm-hmm. some health back. There Oop. you go. You notice that you don't run as fast as you did when you uh, when yeah. you had uh, a last door. So just be aware. I wonder if I want to switch back to. It's up to you. God damn it! Why are you taunting? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, what? Oh, okay, that was. <clears> yeah, the that's change. that's the yeah. It's it. Uh, blue. The, yeah, the blue and the orange are the two indicators of which one's which. <clears throat> and you also have your stinger. If you want, if you need to catch, if you need to close the ground, you press forward on the, 
And you press, yeah. Or that works too, yeah. I can fly too, motherfucker. Exactly. Ooh. There you go. There you go. So, having fought Phantom, uh, Nilo, Angelo, and now Griffin. Yes. Uh, how, who is your favorite boss so this far? This one right This now. one? You like this, Griffin a lot? I feel like Phantom I had to get in a very specific place, mm -hmm. which the controls fought me on. Yep. Who was Nilo again? He was the guy with the big sword who let you, who uh, like kind of kept jumping around the place. Um, he kept saying, like, come on, come get me. Oh, yeah. He was fine, but nothing really stood out. But this is like a very, like... I'm using the arena because it's so big. I uh, I feel like the camera's not fighting me as much as. So you like the setting as well as the um, as the as the boss's vulnerable spots are kind of anywhere you can get you can get a hold yeah, of. Yeah, exactly. So it feels more like a, a give and take exchange fight as opposed to hit him in the one spot. Right. Okay. And I felt like Nilo probably felt the same way. I like this yeah, design also too though. Oh Nilo Angelo? Yeah. Are you are you like the are you like Griffin's like, design? Gri yeah, Griffin. Yeah, you you were instantly like, oh that's cool. Yeah, yeah I know I noticed that. Yeah. There you go, you're almost there. One more. There you go. Eat it. I got Get them orbs. Too. Get them orbs. There you go. Okay, so you're halfway to Air Hike, which is good. Although Ifrit has his own set of uh of things as well. Is the fire literally telling me where to go next? Yeah, pretty much. So you have you have one torch lit. How are you gonna light the other torch? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> uh yeah. Uh other one. No. Click click the thumb button. Yeah, there you go. Now you're switched. Bam. <laughs> I like how it just clicks on. Yeah. Oh, this room. Okay. Yeah. Uh you're gonna meet a new enemy type in here, I'm pretty sure. Eventually, I don't know if it'll be right now. Right now, maybe when I come back. I think, it. yeah, when you come back. Uh, jump on top of that. Oh, oh no, maybe you will be. Maybe this is it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I told you the marionettes were kind of like the go-to. Yeah. Now, uh, now there's a new now boy. Are you? Interesting. Mm-hmm. Oh, fire dancer. Yep, yep, yep. So, um, I'm pretty sure he is significantly tougher, and he's got obviously fire based moves. I think he breathes fire at you as well. Um, I do, it's just been a long time, I can't remember. I'm doing this pure, purely from memory. Where is he? Green orb. Oh, I see it. There you go. Yeah, jump up there, see what, uh, see if there's anything up here. Okay, another green orb. Sweet. I like the fact that the green orbs, if you are full on health, they give it you red orbs. Red. Yeah, yeah, which is super handy. handy. So yeah, he's gonna take a while to kill. He's but he's the one I want to kill. Once oh, I never mind. I guess you laid into him pretty because he's I think I've he's been... a souped up common enemy. Yeah, he's not like a boss character. Right. Oh no, yeah. he's back. Uh, I think there might be more than one. Um, <clears throat> yeah, he's got <laughs> a, a, a big plethora of attacks. Sweet. Cool. Got that done. Um, and then I think there's a couple of places you can go. I'm not sure. Check. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Let's see what's oh, so so what I was gonna say is like, it's always interesting to me. Hit them barrels. If you can. Right. We're we're both okay, American guys. kids. Yep. We've grown up in Western civilization. Mm -hmm. It's always interesting to me to see. Like, uh, check effort. Yeah. An outsider's look on. Oh, magma drive. Charge power. Release it in the. That's the, that's uh, the one I yeah, want to juggle. Yeah. I'm gonna grab yeah, that. Grab just that. To, uh, Holy yeah. Everything else. Rolling blaze, yeah. meteor level, inferno. Um, I already have a projectile. I'll, that's oh, like... rolling blaze. Uh, rolling blaze is kind of fun. So that combo, or no, never mind. Uh, I mean that's fine. Uh, inferno is a devil trigger. Meteor and and uh, inferno are devil triggers. The last yeah, two sure. things are always devil trigger moves. Um, magma drive. I don't remember if it's okay. Um. So I should be able to... Here, let me... Uh, here, hand the control on me for a yep. quick. I just want to try something. I don't remember if you have it or not. Okay, so that is that. All right. That's the control there. Okay, and then... What are you trying to do? Okay. Oh, there it is. Um, or no, that's the combo. No, there's a... Okay, so, so this combo that I'm doing right now... Yes. Um, there is a power-up that lets you do it in, like, lightning-fast speed. Like, uh, okay, one, sure. two, three, four, five, six. And I'm like, oh, shit, what was that? Uh, but 
So this is the, yeah, that's okay, the. So what do you do? There? So I'm holding down the uh, the ready the, the targeting button. Yep. All right, I'm gonna hold back and okay. and why? Yeah. So and same can, as yeah. the Elastor. Same, yeah, same as Elastor, and it gives it has a dive too. You can do it faster, uh, like much faster, yep. or um, or charge it like if it's if it's a charge weapon. That's gotcha. what, That's how it works. Sweet. So. But yeah, so like I was saying, like um, Devil May Cry. Shin Megami Tensei. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was Waco. Sorry, guys, if you were waiting in anticipation for uh, what we were going to say. But, yeah, go ahead. Um, it, like, we've grown up in Western civilization. We are familiar with kind of the culture and everything. And it's always interesting to see, like, an out, out is it auto targeting? I was going yeah, to. There's, there's, yeah, there's a couple guys on here. There's one here and there's one above you on your right. Uh, maybe more. Yeah, these are just kind of like the new souped up. Uh, marionette people gotcha it's always interesting to see like an outsider's look on like our mythology and stuff and how like i'm sure when we do japanese mythology we kind of butcher it a little bit just because oh, of course we're we not as familiar yeah and then it's kind of interesting the way they do it so like in Shin Megami tensei god is like essentially a huge controlling asshole <laughs> <laughs> um and it's like just as often the bad guy as Satan is. Yeah. Um, it's really just two people having a spat and you're kind of stuck in the middle of it because they're so much more powerful than you. Yeah, it's often that story breaks down into uh, like humanity um, they need to figure out a route beside the paths that God and Satan have laid out for them. Really? Yeah. Um, like there's generally those games have moral choice systems and your endings depend on kind of who you end up backing in them. Um, Persona is a little different, but yeah, it, like that's what, where I was coming from in regards to Devil May Cry. I was very, come down here. <laughs> I think you blow him back up into the thing. I think he's stuck on the thing. There you go. Um, I was, cu I was curious about how Devil May Cry interprets Western mythology. Yeah. It uh, seems or like a... a very Catholicism. Yeah. Uh, all right. And then uh, go get that. Yeah, grab that thing. There you go. Now you got Yellow three. Sweet. You're really stacking up on there. Good. Um, well, yeah, I think I this uh, I think this door, it says it's uh, it's red. So go to this door. And I think that's... Um, uh, a, you, have, you have to sacrifice so many red orbs. Oh, gotcha. So just interact. Yeah. Use 200. Okay, that's not bad. No big deal. I think it was like two. Maybe I think there might be a 500 as well, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. Saving up. Uh, what is happening now? It, it's pulling out all the... Uh, <laughs> it's uh, open into a vacuum. Yeah, apparently. Store goes into space. Mm hmm. Okay, so you just got back your 200 orbs you just spent. Yeah, sweet. All right. Cool. So you got your new favorite boss. Yes. Which is cool because you'll sure fight him a couple be, more yeah, times. I'm Everybody, sure you fight all the major bosses in, in threes. Which I kind of like. Canyon yeah. of Mist. Labyrinth of Canyon Alive. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, all right. So you're going to, oh, you're going to fight the, you're going to fight the lizards again, I'm pretty sure. No, oh, stop taunting. There you go. There you go. Oh no, okay. I think you come back through here at some point. You go like you backtrack a lot, but it's uh you I don't know. It's not near as linear as like four was. Four is like you just keep going forward and then you go backward as Dante. It was I don't know, I thought it was pretty lazy, but they did it on purpose. And then there's uh, a glowy bit on that head not uh, headstone. When you get a I chance. I see it, yeah. And then, can you do your stinger? Which one's the stinger again? Uh, so whenever you're facing a, t a four, uh, whatever, whatever direction you're facing, there you do it that. is. Yeah, yeah, and it's a good, it's a good knockback. There you go. Yeah, and then um, uh, while you're doing oh. your while you're doing your combos, uh, you can switch, you can quick change in between your weapons, and it adds to your, it helps add to your combo. Ah. Uh. Um, not that quick. And it's not that quick, but uh, but yeah, but it just depends on what uh, what your timing is. Yeah. So is there a, like, like you were saying, saying, there's a power up that'll make me just move faster? Because I, I feel like that might be what I need. Um. Or unless I'm just really fucking it up. 
Oh, you mean uh oh your your so like combos? combos. Yeah. Um, well, those are, that's your base combo. So like it it actually operates the same way the stinger does. Um, it uh, you just do a bunch of I just don't remember. Oh, you got to follow it. That's what it is. Gotcha. Um, you got to follow it pretty quickly. I think. Um, you can actually ignore these guys. I'm, I think yeah. if it go I think if it goes out, I'm not sure if it puts you back. This is basically think of it like the Lost Woods. Yeah. Um. Oh, he's coming after me. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So you have That's, to follow okay. it, and you have to okay. stay. You have to stay with it. So. All right. Yeah, I, I couldn't remember. I knew there was a time limit. I just didn't know how uh, how strict it was. Well, we'll get back there on the next episode. Yep. Thanks for playing with us, everyone. Yep. See you guys. Bye.